Yo, what is going on guys? This is Silverhorn92 here. I'm here with who? Connor Rosenstein. And what did you do for Dragon Duelers? I just got first place in the Natic. And what were you playing? I was playing Brandon Desmond. Alright, let's get started, man. Uh, just get straight into the monsters. I play three Albaz. Uh, you have to play three. You see some people running two. I don't think that's correct. Even though even though your cash is not banishing eight off the top anymore, you still gotta play that three Albaz. The resource is too high. I play two Cartesia. Uh, I used to be on one. I definitely needed to bump this up more. It was this card was insane. I might even consider playing three. Two Alibur. Uh I could have done the two. I like it wasn't even like I, I didn't miss the third copy. Most of my hands had fusion access, and because your other starter and that one of Quem. So I had plenty of stuff. I didn't need that third Alibur. I was totally fine. Some other one ups. I played one Adlib, one Bastille Bellion, one Albion, one Tragedy, one Mercurier. The Serenary to add off the Bistu of the Bellion. I played the Maximus, I played Spring Gans Kits, and the Gimmick Puppet Nightmare. <laughs> this card is crazy, uh, you can make it off anything, it destroys that branded mirror, it's just good. Uh, just to round up the Monster Cow, I played three copies of Nibiru. Uh, hardest matchup being Cash and some of the other things, just having that nib is always great. I, I, it was just fantastic. In the spells, obviously our MVP, Branded Fusion. Uh, I resolved this a lot, didn't really get Ash this event. I mean, I did, but it was mostly like going second and stuff, it wasn't all that relevant. 3 f Fusion Deployment, this is the Sleeper MVP. Uh, getting that Cartesia for free right out of your deck, or sometimes even an Albaz going second is just crazy. I love this card. Uh, but, even more special, that Super Polymerization, just your opponent can't respond, things are crazy. It's like Twin Twisters for monsters. Play that 3 of Nadir Sermon. Uh, I used to be on the cross out build. But I found a lot of the times I'll be bricking on those crossouts. So playing that Nidir Servant, uh, it allows you to do something even when your hand's not great. By sending a Garura, adding the Maximus, and summoning the Maximus, you can still go full combo. I do unfortunately kind of regret playing this card because of the amount of other people just in the Dragonal event also playing Branded. I cannot go for a Maximus line while my opponent's on Branded, or they're just going to plus to infinity. And even against Cash, it's not great because they play the Garura and the different extra deck pops. Uh, three Branded Opening. Standard, it gets Quem or Alibur, it's just crazy. For the one ofs, I played one of Call By, Brennan Lost, Brennan Red, and I did play the Foolish and the Gold Star. I do still like these cards, I think they're just cool, they just kind of add stuff. This this always sends tragedy, and the Gold Sarcophagus I really like because I can either banish the Mercurier to get like a Cartesia or banish the tragedy and just get an Alibur. Uh, in addition, just to round out the main deck, I played one Retribution, and I also main decked this Banishment. Uh, I thought this card was insane. Uh, I know a lot of the times, if your opponent's like on cash or matchups with like Dark Maw, they don't play like lighter Dark Monsters really. This is kind of tough, but this thing is way too good in the mirror, and it's too good against like Math, Mech, and other decks that play like Dark Monsters. And get rid of Chaos Angel too? Uh, yeah, I can out the Chaos Angel, it's one of my main outs. Yeah, pretty much. And, and then that? Super Polygons are also crazy. Uh, how many cards do you play in your main deck? Uh, this is a 42 card main deck. Um, for the extra, I'll just start off with all that stuff. Uh, two of Mirror Jades. Um, obviously, just, it's Mirror Jade. You know what this card does by now. It's crazy. <laughs> and phase destroy the whole board unless it gets banished face down. Double Albion. Uh, you still play two. This card's good. I might even consider a third. I'm not, but a third would have sometimes come up. The one of Rinbrum. Uh, I think a lot of people stop playing this card uh, instead of, and they cut it for like a Dragoon or something. I think this card is crazy. I love sending it off my Mirror Jade uh, when I'm going first to be able to have an extra interruption when I banish the Rimbrum to revive that Albaz to try just to make a fusion with one of my opponent's monsters. For the other one ofs, I play one of Lubellion. You have to. Lubellion's good. Into the grindier, grindier games, or if you want to send a Dark, you need that Lubellion to be shuffling stuff back. I also put the Titanic Lad. I think this card is crazy. Uh, I send it a lot of the time off Maximus to try to summon the Quem from the deck. Or uh, sometimes I'll just send it off of Mirror Jade if I don't know what my opponent's going to go for. So during the end phase, I can summon the Alabaz and try to eat one of their monsters. Uh, I did play the Albion Sanctifier Dragon. Uh, this is just for the gimmick puppet lock. You need it, obviously. <laughs> you do Make what you got to do. <laughs> yeah. I only played one Grand Legionel. Uh I've seen a lot of other people playing two. Uh, I, I never really... The second one never really came up. I, I never really wanted the second one. The one was plenty. Uh, to go with the Brandon Red, you need to play the one of Guardian Chimera. It's a collector's rare. It's pretty cool. Uh, in addition, I play the one of Quiridus. Once again, you have to play it. It's just kind of standard. You make it off the Super Polys, make it off the Banishments, and a lot of the times I'll also summon it off of the Great Regnal. 
for the Super Poly targets, I played the Drago Sepelia, which I also made off of Banishment a lot. I played Mud Dragon. I think I made this card like once. It didn't really come up. And then Guru Rep, you make it off the of Super Poly sometimes, and a lot of the times, this is the main thing to send off of the Nadir Servant to get that free draw, and then you just banish it from the grave with the Maxims. So. Finally, to round out the extra deck, I played one copy of this new Lulu Lilith. Uh, this card is almost entirely just a summon off of the Grave Beacon Alt, and also I can send it from the extra deck to the graveyard to special Cartesia in my end phase, which if I don't end up with Cartesia access when I go for a Maximus line, I'll almost always send this to be able to end on that Cartesia. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, that's going to round out that 15 card extra deck, and uh, on to the side deck. So this card, just for those branded matchups and that math mech in the finals, <laughs> uh, I play three copies of Visceal Magnumut. Uh, it's the best one. Some people are on the two mag, one Druus, but since my deck actually plays the Saren Rear and the Lubelion, I, I was fine not playing the Druus, I just played three Magnum. Was the Druus, um, there's a time that you need it, or not really? Uh, I never even thought of having a Druus. Every time I really just wanted, if I Magnum with them, I'll either on my turn, uh, I'll add the Vistia Lubelion, pitch it for Saren Rear, or if I really need, if I do it on my turn and I need something for their turn, I'll just add the Saren Rear. It never really came up to have the Druus one. Uh, the card I probably cited in most is going to be that Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, everybody's playing Floodgates. The little grave of the ancient organism that <laughs> hurts. You need those Cosmics. Some people playing Runic Sprite, always Cosmic. Just a lot of the decks, I, I would always sign in Cosmic to clear the birth from the Castier players. That's like the scariest card in that matchup, surprisingly. I need those. I always sign in the Cosmics. Uh, for going second against Cash, three evenly. Uh, I never saw this card, never resolved it. Actually, I did see it. I never resolved it. I didn't need it. Because I had a guy open a nib that game. So, but this card is crazy. I love this card in like testing and stuff. This thing is great. I just never really saw it. Uh, Dark Ruler no more. And this card wasn't great this event, but I also didn't see any sprite. So that's what this this thing is mainly in here for boards that just make a ton of negates. Because I just can't play through that without like a super poly or something. Just having the Dark Ruler no more is always good. Uh, although I it was I played a lot of just a ton of cash and like people on flu and then I had some math mech. I never really needed the dark ruler no more. Uh, and then just in there for the labyrinth and then other branded mirrors is the three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Uh, this the Ash it, it got me through the Swiss rounds just because I played a ton of branded mirrors because just a ton of people in the Dragon Ball event were on branded, which I honestly wasn't that surprised by because yeah. it's a it's a cheaper deck and on the lower side let's. On the lower side, it's not that hard to play until you get to kind of a little bit of a higher level. <laughs> makes, sense, makes sense. Before ending this video, do you want to give any shout outs, by the way? Yeah, uh, I just want to shout out um, the, my card store, uh, Gambit and Kronos, down in Portland, Oregon. And I also wanted to shout out one of the friends that I came with to this event, uh, Aiden Monarchy. You did a great job, and uh, I'm sorry I had to take you out. And, <laughs> and, and one last thing, are you super excited going to Japan since it is free? Oh yeah, definitely. The pricing <laughs> was insane, and they're flying me out to Japan, so I'm going to have a great time. Alright, thank, thank you. you. And your voice are born, 92 is signed out. Thank you.